back and this is the first of the sets of stretch and folds now. Um, after that first 20 to 25, now you're just gonna do four each um, time for four to six sets for the next two hours. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, uh, oh right, wet your hands with water from your little bowl off to the side so the dough doesn't stick to you. And you're gonna grab a section, stretch it up gently. Remember what I said about trying not to tear it. Then turn it and you're gonna stretch it up gently and fold it over, turn it again. Each time I'm turning 90 degrees and stretch it up gently. It's gonna get tougher to stretch because it's the dough is getting more strength. And then one more turn, re-wet your hands if you need to. And one more stretch and fold. Grab it and stretch it over. And that's your four stretch and folds, one on each like side. Uh, now you're just gonna repeat this four time, four to six times over the next two hours. So I do it every 20 minutes so I can fit six in because I think the more stretch it folds, the stronger the bread. So that's a good thing. Um, and again, of course, in between each one, you're going to take your damp cloth and you're just going to cover it again so it doesn't dry out. Okay. So I'm not going to be with you for my four to six stretch it folds. You're just going to repeat that um, four to six times. And I will be with you at the end of my set to like my last set to put it in the big container for the bulk rise. So you can see what that looks like. Okay, so see you then. Hmm.